This 18-foot steel column, which would stand vertically in a building, is in the grip of a vice on UCSD's shake table. The table simulates the stress of a building's weight and the movement of a strong earthquake. Ultimately, the column buckles and bends, which could cause a building to lean or even collapse. A cross-section of this column is seen on the left, as if viewed from above. The problem is the column's connecting spine, called the web, which is too thin. It gets very thin, so this lens goes very high, that the column itself is at risk of buckling too much and losing some of its load carrying capacity. Jay Harris is a structural engineer who co-wrote a paper on the shake table test, which appeared in the Journal of Structural Engineering. If you lose the ability to carry those gravity forces, you could be at risk for some type of collapse. Uh, whether or not it's a partial or total collapse, that's going to be specific to the building, the skeleton and where that column's located and what is it carrying. One of the consequences of a buckling column is what's called story drift. That's when the upper stories of a multi-story building sway in an earthquake, causing the building to lean. Ironically, the use of the wide columns that failed the shake table test became quite common following the Northridge earthquake of 1994. Engineers thought their greater width would prevent lateral building movement in an earthquake. Now, Harris says the columns that were examined will be phased out with new building codes. Thomas Fudge, KPBS News.